what is human-computer interaction, or HCI? Well, we can start by just dissecting the term, right? So there are people involved. Those can be the end users of a program, of a piece of software, but there can be more than one, right? I may be interacting through the program with my other friends online. So the humans can both be the end users, but there can also be communities of users that we want to support. Then clearly there's a computer, that's the machine um, that our software runs on. Um, and nowadays, that's often also not a single computer, but rather a collection of computers. So many servers in the cloud, plus maybe a mobile client that I carry in, in my pocket. And then we have the interaction part, which you can think of as this dialogue where the user kind of tells the computer what they want done or who they want to communicate with, and the com computer processes that and communicates a result back. And it does that through user interfaces. So user interfaces are the part of the application um, that allows this interaction, this dialogue to happen. And Many of you are familiar with the standard user interfaces, so we have things like menus, widgets, toolbars, pop-up dialogues. Um, but the UI can also include hardware. So think of the Wii mode. Um, a core component of the Nintendo Wii is the fact that there's this hardware controller which has an accelerometer in it and in the latest version also a gyro that can sense tilt. That is part of the user interface. Um, on the right-hand side here, I'm showing you the reactable, this is an experimental musical interface. This is basically a synthesizer where you control the quality of the music by moving these physical pucks around a table, and the table also has a display projected from underneath. So HCI, in the larger sense, is the design, the prototyping, the implementation, and the evaluation of user interfaces, whether they're hardware or software. And HCI is really an interdisciplinary field, uh, which is what attracted me to it. And there are three primary strands in HCI. We take the technology part from computer science and electrical engineering. But we take the process by which we go about building good user interfaces mostly from design. So product design, industrial design. These disciplines have come up with a good process how to define products and services that fit the needs of people. And finally, we also borrow from applied psychology, mainly in the methodologies we use to evaluate whether what we designed actually meets its goals. Now, the real reason why um, I moved into HCI was not that I'm really passionate about those three subjects, that's also true, but more importantly, working in HCI allows me to be one of these four personas on any given day. So if you design, build, implement, and evaluate user interfaces, sometimes you get to be an artist. You get to care about the aesthetic appeal of the user interfaces you create. You also get to be, let's see, which way do we want to go? Well, I'll go to the engineer next diametrically uh, opposed. I get to be an engineer because I like building systems that work, complex systems that really help people accomplish their task. That is done through engineering principles. Now, I get to be a designer when I try to really think about the fit between engineering and people's needs. So designers contribute methodologies like need finding, where I go out, observe, and interview people about what kind of technology could really meet their needs? Um, for example, for work or for play. And finally, I get to be a scientist where I get to both design, carry out, and then analyze experiments and experimental data to really figure out um, whether the inventions uh, I came up with meet their stated goals.